क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends now we are going to talk about a new topic that is brown ring test so what is this test is done for and what is the motive behind this and what is the reaction involved in this thing this all thing is what we are going to talk about in this topic so now let us understand brown ring test So friends, brown ring test is nothing but a quantitative analysis of the presence of nitrate ions, and because of which we could easily determine whether the nitrate ions are present or not. So based on that, we have a certain procedure that we have to follow. So in this case, basically, we can easily find out whether the presence of nitrate ion is there or not. So for that, we have to consider that is nitric acid along with that of the sulfuric acid. So these mixtures are basically heated and then cooled. So in this case, the Fe2 plus ion which is used, it should have an ability. to reduce the no3 group to no group and that's the reason that this test is been done and ultimately we get a brown ppt and because of this brown ppt we could determine whether there is a presence of no3 or not so for that we have a certain procedure we have that certain reaction that is what i'm going to talk about so now let us understand those reaction so friends the reaction is as follows here we can see the presence of no3 minus that is known as nitrate ion and along with that we have introduced that is 3 moles of fe2 plus this fe2 plus is nothing but ferrous sulfate solution along that of as i've said earlier that is we have to add that is sulfuric acid also so therefore this is basically 4 moles of h plus ion that is been obtained because of the sulfuric acid or because of the other acids so the reaction goes on in such a manner that is the product that is what we could get is basically no or which is also known as nitric oxide along with that of that is this fe2 plus it has been oxidized to 3 moles of fe3 plus but here we can see that is this nitrate ions has been reduced to no that is nitric oxide along with that of 2 moles of h2 is a byproduct so this no which is basically produced in the first step as you can see over here in the first reaction so now this no it will be very much helpful in turning the complex we understand that is this is a complex that is fe h2 o6 which has an oxidation state of 2 plus so whenever it is been reacted with nitric oxide that is been produced because of the first reaction so now this reaction will turn into such a manner that is a complex is basically produced and this complex is nothing but fe h2o five times and no so now this is the complex that is been produced along with that of water molecule but the complex that is been produced is basically brown in color or this will be a brown complex or brown ppt so now this brown complex forms a ring between the two solutions and that's the reason that we call it as a brown ring test and this helps us to understand whether the presence of nitrate ion is there or not for particular compound so that's it so this was the reaction related to the brown ring test and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much